animal neglect can take many different forms. Providing a clean, safe home and socializing your pet is as important as feeding it. In Manchester, a call has come in about a house full of cats and dogs living in terrible conditions. Inspector Jason Bowles is investigating. I'm going to a house now. Um, apparently there's feces all over the floor. And that's quite a common complaint that uh, this one's apparently got feces up the walls as well. So it's, uh, it could be quite serious. And at the house, the first signs aren't good. So as soon as I got out of the van, Considering she's got a driveway there as well, I can actually smell the house. I can smell the inside of the house from the outside, which isn't a good sign. You can hear the commotion going on inside. There's a few dogs' heads poking out of the window. You can look from the outside here. The window's broken for a start, so that's a danger to the animals inside. And then after a while of uh, banging, clattering, and doors opening and shutting inside, um, the lady came to the door. Just explain what the call was saying, yeah, anyway, because it, it. it might not be true at all. Right. Basically, there's lots of dogs inside of there, and there's poo up the walls, on the floor, all that kind of stuff disgusting. there. Tried to talk her in to let me in. Um, didn't work. And in short, uh, refused me entry. Wouldn't let, wouldn't let me in. Concerned for the animals inside, Jason calls the police for help. I'm kind of outside the property now on the driveway, so if someone could come as, as soon as possible, I'd be grateful. For someone not to let you in, it kind of obviously ar arouses your suspicions even more, coupled together with the uh, conditions I can smell and see from the outside. Uh, we definitely need to get inside that house to have a look. The police arrive, and the owner lets them inside. As soon as the door was opened, it was horrible. You could hardly breathe. There's a really, very, really strong smell of, of fit of ammonia in here. On a level of one to ten of, of badness, it was it was ten. Feces all over the floor, up the wall, um, built up underneath the furniture. The conditions inside that house were. I would say uninhabitable for, for human or, or animal. But the conditions in here, even the smell, can you, can you not smell the smell in here? And then I was introduced to the, uh, the front room. <coughs> what I can describe as a, a pack of dogs living there. <coughs> All right, lad. One, two, three, four, five big dogs. In total, there Labradors at the house, and two of them are pregnant. Should we uh, go in another room from the dogs at all? Jason isn't just concerned about the hygiene, but also the way the dogs are behaving. This person had no control over these dogs whatsoever. They were doing what they wanted to do. Although they were friendly, they didn't seem to be very socialised. My heart's sinking, basically. It's not something that I could sort out there and then by working with this person, it, it looks to me like it's so bad, we're going to have to remove these animals and, and work from there. Jason needs to get a vet's opinion before he can seize the animals. And after looking inside, vet Sean Taylor confirms they need to be removed. The actual environment of the house is, is unsuitable. So any removing, okay, right. Jason knows the dogs aren't used to being handled, and he's going to need help getting them out. This is Jason, all of them three, got five adult dogs, three puppies and four cats I need removing. Is there anyone else that can uh, come and help me? Two RSPCA colleagues arrive and the team can now start the evacuation. As we took them out of the property, they completely freaked out as soon as they came to, went outside, as if they'd never been outside before. <laughs> With the door open, two of the dogs get a sniff of freedom and make a run for it. Hello. <laughs> Could turn into a bit of a, uh, a nightmare um, with loose dogs running around the, the local area. Come on. But luckily we uh, caught them. But 
But while some of the dogs seem thrilled to finally be outside, others have a very different reaction. They're overwhelmed and clearly terrified. They just completely shut down some of them and wouldn't even move, so they had to be carried out. It's not been outside their house, is it? It's hot. It's absolute, doesn't know what to do, does it? It's just totally irresponsible to keep animals like that. You're causing a problem in their lives that they possibly won't get over, and you haven't socialised them, you haven't gotten used to normal living. How are they going to cope? Oh, you're a big doggy. All eight dogs are finally rescued from the house. Thankfully, they are in reasonable health, but Jason thinks the rescue came just in time. These dogs, with the amount of animals inside that house and the conditions, weren't having even their most basic needs met. So it's just a really sad situation. And I'm very, very glad we got caught to that address and that we uh, were able to remove them from that situation. Dogs are taken to nearby kennels where the future for all the animals looks brighter. And two months on, little Dylan here already has a new family. Born a few days after his mother was removed from the house, Dylan will never know the conditions he was rescued from and will grow up in a clean and loving home.